Do I need to worry about that little thing down there? No, it's not even, a, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Everyone asks what it is, and it's funny, it's my whole childhood, I asked what it was and nobody ever knew. <laughs> yeah, so this is park, and then neutral's right here, and then you got your clutch, which is just your low gear forward, and this is your brake, and then this one's reverse, and this is your gas, and this is park. <laughs> It makes me appreciate modern transmissions. <laughs> so this is the aftermarket low gear. It's called Rockstell Low. It's the lowest gear. And then you got Ford Low with this forward, and then you'll see a bunch of crazy shifting happening. So damn dangerous to drive back well, then. This, like I said, this is the aftermarket. Oh, this okay. is just in the rear axle. It has two gears underneath, so it has a real low gear and then a low high gear. Okay. It's mostly for climbing hills and shit. These are really bad at climbing. Yeah, I remember that much. Really. Bad. Most of my knowledge of the Model T and how it drives comes from Jay Leno. <laughs> yeah. Because he's got one. Yeah, he didn't have a Rockstell axle in his. No, it's all original. 
Yeah, I think these came about in like the uh, late 30s or something, and this is the 1926. Okay. My uncle put this in here in like 63 or something like that. Okay. Watch this thing lugs without dying. Yeah, it's a real feat. Sometimes you can just go right from here to there. People at bars usually like it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out this road to kind of get her up to speed is kind of fun. Alright. 35, you know, 40 maybe even. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get the people what they want. Yeah. Yesterday, it was my grandpa's. I was like, I just got my 
line running today and it was my grandma. Can like, we just become best friends? And he was like also <laughs> in the choppers and stuff like that. It was very strange. Very strange. Yeah, really cool. You yeah. saying someone's strange means a lot. Yeah, he is very strange. <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, he's just crazy. It's such a coincidence. You know? Yeah, he has Model A's, dude. They're just such a better vehicle than this. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy how much these things can blow. Yeah. Like climbing hills and four loads, like blah, 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 blah. This is my grandpa. I think there's more power in garage door openers. I wonder what cubic inch these are. I have absolutely no idea. How many I know they have there? like a specific output of negative 50. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's so damn cold. It is running really nice because it's cold. People say they run great. I watched this one, uh, this guy had a little video series. He drove a Model T as a daily driver for a whole year. Wow. That was cool. There's one guy in Australia who has the exact same 1926 Model T Tumorine, so the four door and everything. And he has that like everything tuned is all on YouTube, so that's really good for me. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. We have the top, we have the material and the holes for the top. It was all bought like 40 years ago and never done. And I just found a lady who still does it, and her name is the Stitch Bitch, and she's like 73 years old. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's badass. But it ain't cheap, man. Oh, I can imagine. Being the, the stitch bitch, as you say, for stitch bitch, yeah. probably one of the only people qualified for it in the universe. And there's no one who knows how to work on model T's in like many, many, many states all around us. There's just some people in Vegas that do, but they only do it for like big car collectors and stuff. Yeah. The guy at it's called Little Deer Board, the place that I go to get help, and he says he's like, you know, you can make serious money if you put in all your time to learn about these. That's not yeah, I can imagine. There's a lot of people that want them that have Model Ts. They're not a lot, a lot, but there are plenty of people that have them. Yeah. All the Someone's got to age are going to be getting their dad's Model T. Yeah, they don't know shit about fixing them. So that's that's where Ryan, the Scud missile, comes in. <laughs> Yeah. I wish we had the top on it right now, man. I should have got on that more. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. And glad. they also have like this aftermarket window glass that you can install in like the most sketchy, insane way you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. That's the house. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Real Chad whistle right there. <laughs> what are you doing with my car? I don't want to hit you with this. This is a steel missile. This thing would crumble a modern car. Oh, yeah. I mean, we died too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we would die they wouldn't, but their car. Send our ashes through whatever this is. Yeah, I think we would get the glass, or what do they call it? The glass necklace when your head goes through Ooh, and then it stops. Oh, yeah. Your head off or something. Good old lime glass and all that composite stuff. We might crash. The brakes on this are absolutely terrible. I did yeah. read it. Running good, man. Yeah. Running good. I like that. So I've got so far 15 minutes of footage right now, man. Good. That's going to be sick. I'm going to put it on YouTube and I'll send you a link. Yeah, seriously, do it. I have a channel that has literally just my PlayStation upload so I can share clips with my friends. And I'll have a rare yeah. as hell. Almost, no. if not 20 minutes of footage, or just you driving. Yeah, this I haven't even gotten that behind that wheel yet. Yeah, we'll probably go. I'm trying to think. We could just go by my brother's house, but I think you throws have less stop and go.
probably wasn't why that wasn't horrible. They almost make it work. for a second, which is the one on the left. Just hit it for like a second, see if you guys start going forward. Yeah, so that'll be it. Okay. But, so you gotta be in neutral to fuck with this one. Don't even do it, because if you do it, you break the whole car. Okay. So we're just gonna drive in rut still only. Okay. So you only have to worry about that lever over there. So you the lever and the clutch is all I gotta worry about? Yep, so the, the clutch all the way to the floor is gonna be first gear, and then clutch all the way up. Um, but this is your gas, so you gotta move that up when you want to hit the clutch. So hit the clutch okay. now. Now hit the clutch. Okay. And you just put that straight down to the floor or all the way up. And then, so you gotta get going and you gotta use that lever also. That, the spark arrester one. Okay, so, pull it back? Yeah, pull that, no, 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 not that one, not that one, not that one. This up here. Push that forward. You're good. Here, that's gotta be in the middle though. That lever. Okay, so I'm moving. All right, that's, there you go. Um, so, yeah, have, and then this one over here, your sparks, you gotta turn that up and that up. Okay. And then you're cruising, and then you give it a little more, and then let off that clutch and push that lever all the way forward. Let off that clutch all the way forward. Oh, no, not on that clutch, though. No. See, now you're not you. Okay, now we gotta break. And it. now, so, put that clutch in, pull this back. Let off that clutch, let off that clutch, break. Oh, that's, that's low gear. Okay. If you have the clutch down. So now break, because it doesn't work well, so get on it now. Okay, right. Right. I don't know, I've never been back here, to be honest with you. Oh, I actually hit the throttle. Yep, so you gotta give it a little more gas. Okay. You just stay, honestly, here, let off the clutch once. Let off the clutch. All the way, all the way off the clutch, all the way off the clutch. Fuck, man. Let's not be all the way in neutral. Try to like this around the block. Excuse me. <laughs> time to get it down but now I can yeah. drive this thing like a regular car. Oh I just broke this. I just <laughs> I just broke this. Now you wanna give a little more gas and a little more spark. A little more than that. There you go. Okay. That'll get you up the hill. Who's where am I turning? I don't know. <laughs> Left, I guess, or just go straight. Then you gotta let off the gas when you come up to a stop. 
Give it more gas. Okay. Oh, you are in Ford Low. That's good. Ford Low is a good gear to drive around in. Now off the clutch and get on the brake and put your gas up a little bit. See how bad those brakes are? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Reminds me of my truck by the time it went out. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. Not um, <laughs> Do you feel comfortable crossing over? No, I do not. Okay. I'd, I'd rather actually go back home. It's so valuable, I don't want to. Well, home's that way, but you got to cross over 61. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. If um, you go up there, you can take the seat. No, we can do that if you want. Yeah. Um, here, do you want here? Whip it down that way. Do a little more driving. You're loving it. You know what I mean? Give her some gas. There you go. Smooth as hell. <laughs> got it. I'll get some great videography. Go straight in this. Okay. My grandpa really made it a lot less room, and he was a giant man. I don't know how he got in and out of this thing. All right. Ball it back here. I know. We just got around those beautiful roads. 
That turbo two step, bro. This thing got oh, yeah, V tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just your average Honda engine, am I right? Ha 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 Look at that, good old engine braking. Wait, does this thing even engine brake? Or is it all just drag? All right. I figured an engine this small probably doesn't have a lot of braking to do. Aren't them friction fans crazy? Yeah. They don't make hot ones anymore, only Kevlar. We're at that little Dearborn place. I bought a Model A a year ago, and it came with a box of Model T parts on accident. And he had a band of old, a box of brand new old school cotton bands. So I got them too. Man. That's some nice people over there. Yeah, give him the Chad whistle. <laughs> Man, I'm glad you didn't see it, but there was someone in an SUV that came up behind us real fucking fast. Yeah, I was so scared they were gonna hit us. No backfire? No. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twenty nine minutes, forty three seconds. Jeez. What a beauty. <sighs> well, it's probably the only time I'm ever going to drive one. Didn't? Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm too much of a car enthusiast. I'll, I'll find someone, I'll make friends with them just to use my friendship with them to drive their car. Yeah. Look at that. That's the whistle you described. Stop the ignition there to push the compression through that whistle. That old belt looks like it's almost a ratchet strap. <laughs> yeah, let's get a closer look at that. And this, my dad always hated it. Crank start? Ooh, yeah, that is worth hating. But no, but guess what? All the pictures that he's found in every book of the old ones from 1926, and this is exactly how they were. Really? Yeah. So they came from factory with, they weren't matching? Yeah. 
that's that's wild. He probably had some like spares and it was more cost effective to just use what you got, even if it didn't match. You know, they use like I know there's a race one of the early uh, American racing teams. We didn't have an official colors. So they just we just use sign paint out of the closet. <laughs> Just the American way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's almost 32 minutes. That's good enough.